Prophetic gatherings become sessions within sessions that promote times of impartation. Prophetic intervention includes sessions of prayer. Stay with Brother Michael on this. With intercessions for the development of the believer's spiritual ear to mature their hearts, to mature, excuse me, their hearts become sensitive with their minds in alignment. Come on, in alignment to the direction of the Holy Spirit. Anybody here today not born again? Because we're going to get a hold of you by your tie. Anybody here not born again? All right, praise the Lord. And even for those of you that are here today who are not in agreement with us today, we're going to pray for you anyway in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. All right. Prophetic intervention with activation elevates and raises the believer's faith in God to do what man says is impossible. When Jesus was on this earth, his life in his smith, he did those things that seemed to be impossible. He defied the laws of physics. He walked on water. He was able to bring an said as he would bless the provisions that uh, was put in his hand, the fishes and the loaves. We saw the dramatic and dynamic works of the Holy Spirit working in him and through him through prophetic activation. Blind eyes were open, deaf ears were open, even raising the dead. Are you with us? Amen. Intervention with actions from prophetic releasing, uh, releasing inspires a believer to seek the counsel of God with the desire to know God's will for their lives and how to pray the will of God correctly into the lives of others. There's a lot of prayer that goes up that does not line up with the word of God. It's when man decides they want something out of somebody or they want something done towards somebody that does not line up with the word of God. They begin to pray and they begin to pray amiss and all of a sudden you see confusion going on not only in the lives that they're praying for but also in their own lives. Amen? Intervention and impartation of God's prophetic release becomes the cause Please get this deep in your spirit. The cause and the effect in the life of a believer as they recognize their position in Christ where they sit at the right hand of God in authority. Where do you sit as a born-again, spirit-filled, tongue-talking, devil-rebuking child of the Son of the living God? Do you recognize where you sit in Christ, where he sits at the right hand of the Father? It is Christ in you, you in Christ, where he sits far above. Somebody say far above. Far above. Say it again, far above. Far above. Ephesians 1.21 says this, far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come you're positioned in christ at the right hand of the father far above somebody help me out far above the demonic activities that are taking place Prophetic intervention improves the condition and situation when a believer finds themselves prostrated at the feet of Jesus, praying into that situation, expecting God to move as they pray. Prophetic intervention will cause you to become a peacemaker. Amen. Prophetic intervention will cause you to become a peace builder. Help me out, somebody. Prophetic intervention brings impartation, and that impartation will bring a will bring an, a, a corporate anointing that comes when prophets and the prophetic people gather for worship, for prayer, for teaching, with utterances to release their spiritual languages. That is prophetic intervention. I know some, some of you aren't liking me right now, but I love you anyway. <laughs> Prophetic intervention impartation will inspire, listen to this, will inspire prophecy. It will inspire prophetic teachings that will draw from the heart of the Father of Jesus himself to release that which comes from the heart of the Father. It'll, the prophetic intervention will draw. Listen, it'll draw. Many times we'll be here and we'll, we'll be laying hands and you can feel the you can feel the unction of the Holy Spirit being drawn out of you, the anointing being drawn out of you. It's the resources of the heart of the Father God has put in you to pray into the lives of somebody else. Yes. 
That is your intervention. That is prophetic intervention by the Spirit of the living God. And you're all capable. You're all able to do that. And so tonight, you're going to get an activation. Tonight, you're going to receive a prophetic activation. Listen, through prophetic intervention comes prophetic impartation. Oh, sorry. To impart comes Oh, I, I didn't do a spell check on this one. Oh, my God. Uh, comes prophetic activation. All three working simultaneously together to produce a work of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. Amen. So this might be a question coming from some of you. Why is the prophetic gift so important to God? Now, we know it's important to us, right? That's part of our life part of our lifestyle it's 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 a lifestyle that we worship god in and if it's important to us then we have to ask why was it so important why was the prophetic gift so important to god that he would impart that into our lives well i've got an answer for you it confirms who god is and how he operates in the spiritual realm and the natural realm through this incredible and profound gift of prophecy. Now, for those of you that are here for the first time, welcome to, to a Genesis Upper Church. We are a kingdom church. We are under an apostolic mantle and prophetic covering of the Holy Ghost, and we do operate in the gift of prophecy. That's how this ministry was birthed through the life of God's handmaid. A prophetic word was given to her that she would birth out of her spiritual womb a ministry of the prophetic. And so we're standing in that, in, in that right now. Let me give you again the definition of intervention. And right now, I'm, I'm talking not to anyone here. I'm not talking to flesh and blood. I'm talking to the enemy. You better back off right now. You better back off right now in the name of Jesus. Because I'm not going to do it. God will take you down. Don't be messing with the Holy Spirit in this house. I like that. That was good. <laughs> intervention. Oh, intervention. An action taken to improve a situation. All right. When we read the Word of God, we read from the beginning of Genesis, God said, come on. He said, God, let there be. That was it. It was a prophetic intervention. God said, let there be there be. From that prophetic intervention, a word spoken became a prophetic activation. And the Bible says, and light was. Yes. When God said, let there be light, light was. Yes. Where did that come from? I believe that it came out of the heart of the Father. I believe it came out of the, uh, the, the Spirit of God Himself. Because He has always existed. Yes. Everything that He created came from Him. Right. He's the uncreated one. So even the light that was in him, when he said, let there be light, the light came forth. Holy Spirit took it, and bam, light became light. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm in the Pentecostal realm right now. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, then there was an intervention from God. An action taken to improve a situation, and he combines it with impartation, combines it with activation, and it gives permission to the Holy Spirit to do in the life of a believer what he has been sent to do. Amen. With impartation comes salvation. Amen. Don't get me crazy. <laughs> with impartation comes deliverance. Right. Oh, I don't need deliverance. Get up here right now. <laughs> with impartation comes healing. And with impartation comes provision. Saints, tonight an altar has been set for you. I did not set it. The Father of glory set an altar here for us tonight to become a participation, excuse me, a participation, to become a partaker of what he's about to release, an activation, a prophetic activation in our lives. Vessels have been chosen. You are those vessels. And tonight, we can prophesy to you right now, tonight a... There I, see the re I feel the resistance lifting right now. Holy Ghost is in the house. Come on. Holy Ghost is in the house. Yeah, we do that here. Get over it. Vessels have been chosen. Saints, tonight a radical and, and extensive intervention of anointed power for the prophetic 
will be released from this sanctuary. Those of you that are watching online, understand there is no distance in God. There's no distance when we pray. As those that are sitting here in the sanctuary will receive this, um, this activation, the impartation of activation, so will you receive it by faith in Jesus' mighty name. That anointing will bind together intervention, impartation, and activation. So are you ready? Come on, are you ready for a prophetic word yes. to be released? This prophetic word will stir you up. It's going to stimulate you and get you ready to receive a, an activation uh, of the prophetic in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. I'm loving this tonight. All right, fasten your seatbelts. Get ready for a bumpy ride. Here's a prophecy. Now, Brother Michael, this is the Father of glory speaking to us tonight. As I move to dispense my anointing through this intervention, understand it will bring an activation from an impartation causing you to operate, to see things first in the realm, oh my God, in the realm of the Spirit so that the things that you say and the things that you do will manifest in the natural realm. Amen. Through this activation, I will cause you to operate from a level of confidence, knowing that the gifts I have given you combined with my knowledge and glory, so that the use of these gifts will not be used in an inappropriate manner or purpose that all of their gains will profit my kingdom in the earth. Today I present to you a portion of my very best. It comes from my heart to your hearts. Today, my beloved, the choice becomes yours. Is somebody hearing this? Yes. The choice becomes yours. Will you use them to expedite the return of my son for his bride, or will you use them for your own gain and profit? Again, the choice is yours. Through this intervention, there it is. Uh, I got to hold on right now. There it is. In the spirit, anybody spiritualized right now, the anointing is falling. The anointing is being released in this sanctuary right now. Lord, send it to the stream right now. The anointing, I see it like quicksilver, gold and silver coming down. We, we received a word earlier. Let me see where I am here. I don't want. We received a word earlier when we were in prayer before the service began that angels, there'd be a visitation of angels. Right now, I see those angels around the perimeter of this sanctuary, and in those vacant seats, they are occupied. I said they're occupied. Yes. Through this intervention, you will experience a divine order of spiritual practice. It will cause you to rely upon me for everything in the days that are ahead. From this intervention, this impartation that will promote activation would be consistent. It's, it's not just for today. It is for every day Hereafter, says the Lord. Its purpose is to experience kingdom life, the life I've given you to the life of my son. It will promote you and it will elevate you with such confidence that when I ask you to speak and I ask you to move out in action to impart into others, you will move in that confidence, says the Lord. Today, this release comes to you from my throne room, which is my heart. From the very beginning, it's been my desire that as you, as you, my chosen, you as my sons and daughters would obtain the very best of what my kingdom has to offer. From it, you will truly become those in whom I have disciplined to fulfill the great commission in the earth, says the spirit of the living God. I'm getting popping. Is that coming from the, this thing here? Okay. Hallelujah. I'll try to stay still. Well, that's not going to happen, so. <laughs> Saints, intervention, prophetic intervention is throughout the entire Bible. Once, as this word is released and the activation is given to you, you're going to begin to read the Bible, and you're going to see how prophetic from the beginning of Genesis 1-1 
to the end of Revelations 22, 21 is. Everything is prophetic activation. Impartation is throughout the Bible. Activation, activation is also throughout the Bible. So we read, as we read through the, the scriptures there, we see prophetic activation in the great exodus with Moses. Come on. He delivered the people out of the bondages of Egypt. We see uh, prophetic activation also in the life of the prophets. We see prophetic activation in the life of David as a shepherd boy taking down the lion and the bear and then coming up as a young boy coming up against Goliath, a man uh, uh, three times his size. We also see prophetic activation in the life of Esther. It paralleled the life of, of Jesus. She came, uh, she was uh, groomed by God through prophetic activation to deliver pe the people Israel from the destruction of the enemy. Amen. We see also prophetic activation in Daniel. In the life of Daniel, even when they were taken into captivity, we see the prophetic activation in the life of the three Hebrew children, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the story of the fire, uh, the furnace. Come on. That's all prophetic activation. It's all done by the Spirit of God. We live in the realm of a natural realm, but we also live in a spiritual realm. And in the spiritual realm, we can tap into prophetic activation. One of the fulfillments of prophetic activation is written in the book of Joel. Where he says, in the last days, God says, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And my sons and daughters shall prophesy. My young men shall dream dreams. And my old men will prophesy. Hallelujah. Upon my sons and daughters, I will pour out my spirit. That's prophetic activation. Is somebody getting this? Come on. In the life of John the Baptist. The forerunner to Jesus Christ. Prophetic activation, saints. Yes. Come on, we're going to give you about 500 more. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> prophetic activation in Mary, the mother of Jesus, birthing a child, conceived by the Holy Ghost, a word spoken. Prophetic activation. She conceived in her womb. Woo! Yes. Amen. By the Holy Ghost. My legs went, woo, went weak on me there. Um, prophetic activation. Come on. Jesus, even Jesus in the River Jordan, prophetic activation. This is my son. Come on, in whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. Prophetic activation. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, Saul thought he was cool, thought he was doing something good based on the law and based on religiosity. What does God do? Prophetic activation gets a hold of him on the road to Damascus, riding that horse. Bam! <laughs> Prophetic activation and turns Saul into the Apostle Paul, who writes almost two-thirds of the New Testament. Prophetic activation. This something is a little more close to, to our generation. Pentecost. Somebody help me out. The day of Pentecost. Yes. Come on. Yes. Prophetic activation. The fulfillment. Yes. Whoo! Amen. 500 men and women went to an upper room, instructed by Jesus as he as, as, before he ascended. Go to that upper room and remain there until you're filled with power. The Bible says that only 120 remain. <laughs> But because those 120 remained, hallelujah, they were filled with prophetic activation. Come on. And the evidence of prophetic activation, they began to speak in languages unknown to one another. Hallelujah. And then prophetic activation, and we're wrapping this portion up. Prophetic activation, the acts of the apostles. Come on, saints. It's all in the Bible. Come on. And we tell you here tonight that the body of Christ as a whole haven't even come to the introduction <laughs> or the beginning of what John the Revelator spoke in the book of Revelations. We haven't even gotten there, but yet that is prophetic activation that will come to pass. All for prophetic intervention with impartation for activation through the Spirit of God. So I want to make a declaration here tonight. I got to do this here. 
Sometimes I write in, in tongues, and I can't read it when I'm going to. Hallelujah. All right, James. Sorry. Here tonight's a prophetic activation. All right? Hallelujah. Marak. Tonight, this prophetic activation is going to do something for you. Now, let's get our, get our minds in, into the th things of the Holy Ghost. Marara. And I don't know who it is. If you're online right now, as you're in this thing, I don't know who it is. But tonight, from this prophetic activation, Amen. That which you've been carrying on your shoulder, that's what you've been carrying on your back, Mara, that prophetic activation is going to remove that so you don't have to carry it anymore in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your lives are going to, our lives are going to be changed. I'm getting in line on this. I'm first one in line on this. Hallelujah. I'm probably going to get in trouble on this, but I know God will back me up. And I don't say this without any, without any compassion. I understand. I won't go into all this. But God gave me this word, and I'm releasing it. I'm making this declaration. It's time for the people of God to come out from under, to become loosed and set free. COVID conspiracy. And that's exactly what it is. It's a conspiracy sent by the kings of darkness. This plot of darkness, this scheme, this deception, this ploy, this trick of Satan himself. It's time to come out. Come on. Come out from underneath this conspiracy. And let's go forward with the things that are of God. What is intervention for impartation with activation? It enables us to read the scriptures and release a prophetic word. Amen. That's prophetic activation. Amen. Prophetic activation is given for visions. That those visions can be interpreted. To have dreams that they can be interpreted. Prophetic intervention is also given for us to worship God in spirit and in truth. To sing a prophetic song and to dance a prophetic dance as somebody in the house. To bring forth creative activations and creative miracles. To activate spiritual ears. To open up the spiritual eyes to see. Can we, can we move on this? It's to cause the mouth and the tongue to speak the things that be of God. To shut the mouths of lions. Prevent activation is to release the binding power of God's word against all assignments of darkness. Come on, we got to get out of this conspiracy, this COVID conspiracy. We got to come into the reality of how things really are and what God has done in us and through us. That we can speak prophetically, release a prophetic activation into every circumstance, into every situation, and see the hand of God move on our behalf. Yes. To cause hands, your hands to be an extension of Jesus' hands, that's prophetic activation. To have the heart of stone turned into a heart of flesh, that's prophetic activation. To operate, function with the mind of Christ, that is prophetic activation, saints. And to have feet anointed, oh my God, to walk the path that God has put before the believer's life, that is prophetic activation. I, 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 I'm not boasting except in Christ Jesus. I feel the anointing on my hand, the weight, the kobad. Come on, look at your hands. Maybe some of you are manifesting gold dust on your hands, on your clothes, because the anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. Some of you at home right now, look at your hands. Look at your clothing and give us a thumbs up that there's a manifestation of, of gold upon you. My God, we could stay here till 5 o'clock in the morning. On this one subject, seriously. But we won't do that tonight. Maybe next week. <laughs> Prophetic activation. I, Father, I pray this goes deep. Oh, Father, send it deep into our spirit man tonight. Prophetic activation will cause you to activate the names of God in your life. He who is Jehovah Yireh, 
He who is Jehovah Rapha. He who is Jehovah Shalom. He who is Jehovah Shammah. Come on. He who is Jehovah El Shaddai. He who is the great I am. He who is Jehovah M. Kadesh. He who is Jehovah Nisi. He who is Jehovah Rohi. Prophetic, prophetic activation will cause the names of God to become active in your lives when you call them out. It also will activate the fruit of the Spirit, God's love, joy, peace, his long-suffering, his kindness, his goodness, his faithfulness, his gentleness, and self-control. To activate God's ability to increase in your finances. Come on, prophetic activation to bring an increase in your finances, in your health, in your ministry. Somebody help me out. In your family, in your city, your spiritual destiny, in every relationship, all relationships, in your marriage and in your career. Prophetic activation will do that. When prophetic activation takes place, you can use it and ask the Holy Spirit to become active in every area of your life. It will activate prophecy and the words of knowledge. It will activate the gift of speaking in tongues, spiritual languages. It will activate the power gifts of God where miracles, signs, and wonders will follow you if you believe. Comes in the order to activate the divine and the incredible gift of inspiration, prophecy, and the interpretations of that prophetic word. All given. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a shift taking place right now. We're, um, we're going to put this aside in just a minute. And, uh, sweetie, I'm going to ask you to get ready. We're going to move on this really quick here. Mm. I'm going to ask you to join with me right now. Let's begin. I'm going to ask you to lift, lift up that spiritual language right now. Come on. Lift up that spiritual language. Come on. There's the anointing in this house right now. She had those of you that are watching online. She had yesterday, uh, Pastor Fred gave a word, but I was teaching on the word of God. And uh, at the close uh, of, the, of the stream, a word of knowledge came that somebody who was watching, come on, there's an intervention, prophetic activation right now for healing in this sanctuary. And the word came forth that somebody that was watching online just got healed from a brain tumor. A brain tumor. We're waiting for that report to come in. Listen, tonight there's a, a prophetic activation. I did not know we were going to go in this direction. There's a prophetic activation taking place in this house right now. All given through prophetic intervention by the Father of glory himself. There it is. There it is. I, I knew it was on here. I knew it was coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody. Karabus, Serebreki, Maraka. There's virtue in this sanctuary right now. I need to move on this. Again, Mararabosha, intervention. An action taken to improve a situation, especially. Now, we're going to target this when this word was coming for day. I did not know what we were going to do this morning, this afternoon, but I know what we're being called to do right now. Amen. Somebody's going to come out from underneath this COVID thing. Come on, we're going to come out from this COVID conspiracy that's been set against your minds. This intervention, this action that's taken place is specifically for this, to improve a situation, especially in a medical disorder. We're not here to embarrass you. We would not do that. The Spirit of God operating through this ministry has never done that to embarrass anybody. But we're telling you right now, 
And when the Lord downloaded this this afternoon, those of you who are watching online right now, those of you who have been hit in your mind, we all know that the Bible tells us that the mind is the battlefield. It's the area where the enemy comes in. He will do whatever he can do. He comes in with doubt, unbelief, uh, oppression, and depression. Listen to what we're going to talk about here right now. This mental disorder, it, it's a condition it said, it, the explanation says, okay, I got to come down. Hallelujah. It's an abnormal state of health that interferes with the normal or regular feelings of well-being. And the description here, the statistics uh, that I got here today were that there are more than 200, somebody hear this, more than 200 classified forms of mental illness some of more common disorders, uh, some of them are uh, the most common disorders are depression, bipolar. We're going after this tonight. Amen. I said, we're going after this tonight. Amen. Depression, bipolar disorders, dementia, yeah. schizophrenia, and anxiety disorders. Shika paria rabba supriyabaka. So today, tonight, I want to make a decree, and we're going to begin praying into your lives. We're going to be praying into the stream right now. Those of you that are in the sanctuary, I'm going to ask you to step up to the plate with Brother Michael and Prophet Yvonne as we begin to pray and, and come against these things, because this COVID conspiracy is still latched on. It's still hanging on to the mind of God's people. The use, as we've heard tonight, the use of, of pharmacare, drugs, uh, 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 Alcohol, uh, 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 yeah, ingesting into the into the bodies of God, people to suppress us. Well, if the suppression is that exactly what it is. We don't want it to be suppressed. We want it to be removed and destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight I'm going to pull from the Word of God in Job twenty two twenty eight. And I want to pray or declare this decree. I want to pray as to prophesy, or as I say, to prophesy as to pray a decree into your lives. In the book of Job, he writes, decree a thing. And Apostle Dave will back me up on this. He's big on this. Write a decree. And he writes, decree a thing. And it will be established for you. And light will shine on all your ways. So, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray as to prophesy and I decree into this house right now, into this stream, divine intervention of prophetic activation. And as we release this word to come against this conspiracy, this COVID conspiracy that has the minds of God's people in torment, I decree that you will move on their behalf, on our behalf in Jesus' mighty name. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, those of you that are in the sanctuary and you've been hit in one way, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, one way or another, I'm going to ask you to stand up right now. If your mind has been tormented from oppression, anxiety, uh, depression, thoughts of suicide, anything that would attack your mind, if this decree is going out as it's going out and uh, you can relate to it or you have experience and I'm standing in line, listen, my anxiety was, uh, and you can talk to my wife, anxiety had a field day on Brother Michael. Nights of being up from 1 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the morning, tossing and turning with anxiety, fear coming into mind. But because I called upon the name of the Lord. I said, because I called upon the name of the Lord and I expected prophetic activation to take place, the anxiety doesn't come anymore. I said, it doesn't come anymore. So, Father, those of you who are participating in this, I'm going to ask you right now to stand up. Those of you that are home on live stream, go ahead and stand up. Just extend your hands out. Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I such a thing from this house, through this house, and for this house, in the lives of the men and women that are standing up responding to this COVID conspiracy that has come against their mind. And in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak to every spirit, every COVID conspiracy that has set his mind against the minds of God's people. I serve you with an eviction notice now. 
That eviction notice is the blood of Jesus, the Christ, the anointed one, the son of the living God. And I command you to vacate their minds now. Every rooted uh, work of satanic uh, oppression to come out now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I ask you to search out those seeds that germinated, that produced the fruit thereof, Lord. And I ask you to crush that seed with a heel of your foot that that seed becomes dust passing into the atmosphere, finding no place to settle again in Jesus' mighty name. If you're receiving this word, if you're receiving this decree, get your eyes off this vessel and get your eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith, and begin to give him praise. Come on. Begin to worship God. Begin to give him praise. For with man, brah, these things are impossible. So, but with God, all things are made possible. Roba shandara la rababaka. That's all you got? Come on, praise him. Come on, there's more of that in you. Praise him. Those of you at home, I see somebody at home right now dancing in your living room, giving praise. Be giving praise unto God. Shake a la da ba shanda da da ba ba ki. Here's a little training for you. For those of you that are watching online, those of you in the sanctuary, here's some training for you. When you declare a word of God and you command the enemy to vacate, you got to refill that void. I said, you got to refill that void so the enemy can come back in. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask you to fill the void where the enemy was, where depression was, where oppression was, where suicide was, in the name of Jesus. We ask you now where schizophrenia was, in the name of Jesus, where bipolar was, in the name of Jesus. We ask you now to fill those voids. Woo! Fill those voids, oh God, with your love, your agape, your mercy, your grace. Let it be filled with your compassion, your empathy, and your sympathy. Fill it, oh God. We can't do it. We ask you to do it. Elohim, El Elion. Fill those voids. Fill those voids in Jesus. I see the Lord breaking the backbone of anxiety off somebody's life right now. You've been hit with this thing for the last nine months. It has been at your door, the doorway of your mind for the last nine months. Right now, God has just broken the back of that spirit, and you will not be tormented by anxiety henceforth. If and when the enemy may decide to come knocking on your door, use this prophetic activation and declare the word of God against that spirit or any other type of spirit that would try to come against your mind. Release this prophetic activation against it. For the Bible says, submit ourselves unto God, and you are submitted unto God. Submit ourselves unto God. Resist the devil, and he will flee. He must flee in Jesus' mighty name.